Hi there, this is Dominica. I work in many communities all over Northern California. When asked to feature one of my communities, I wasn't sure which to choose. So I landed on my own backyard in Petaluma, California, known for its agriculture, scenery, craft food, drink, and small community atmosphere. Pretty, isn't it? But we know this isn't everyone's view. Across town is a very different scene. Right now I'm sitting in front of a McDonald's that was featured in a national commercial suggesting that it was part of the small town and craft food of Petaluma. Right across the street is a census tract in Petaluma that has the poorest outcomes. The Lucchese McDowell census tract, where I in fact grew up, now experiences lower educational attainment and on average individuals make $20,000 less a year than the Cherry Valley District just on the other side of town and it ranks number 78 when compared to other census tracts in the county on the Portrait of Sonoma County's Human Development Index rankings, while the Cherry Valley Census Tract ranks number nine on the same list. So how do we remedy these huge disparities within one city of 60,000 people? One strategic collaboration at a time. Welcome back to my office. We have seen relatively rapid growth in Petaluma in the last several years which has its side effects, including busy streets, noise pollution, being subject to a aging infrastructure, a lack of housing availability, and a noticeable increase in homelessness. One of the largest barriers to creating a culture of health is the lack of collaboration across sectors. And the fact is, no one person, no one organization, and no one sector can start to remedy the complex public health issues facing the United States today. What I have committed to doing is addressing three of the major barriers I see at a systematic level in creating cultures of health locally. The first is creating marketing systems for organizations so that the messaging that they're sharing is properly packaged and digestible by different stakeholders. The second is streamlined communications. So once you have a message, you have to be able to reach people with it. The third, and arguably the hardest barrier, is streamlined collaboration and being able to have the right partnerships and getting people at the table and keeping them there. This is a huge key and something that I've been dedicated to and my company is dedicated to doing is helping create these collaborative systems so that we really can start seeing a change in the public health outcomes that plague the United States today. Well thank you for joining me on our mini tour of Petaluma today and remember that when we work together, real change is possible.